uh, mr pratyush hearty congratulations to you on Thank securing you. on securing alinda rank 10 in mechanical engineering branch in the recent uh, gate uh, 2022 examination thank you sir. once again hearty congratulations to you uh, mr pratyush tell us which type of coaching program you have availed from es academy i have availed this exclusive online classes online coach it's a very great right so okay because this code situation was there so yes. you have availed that uh, es online online coaching program okay yes, very good right uh, see availing online coaching and cracking the gate exam is such a wonderful rank call india 10 that is something special mr pratyush uh, please tell us how our es academy online class helped you in securing such a wonderful rank in the gate examination Yes, sir. First of all, I want to say that uh, the faculty at the ACE Academy are doing a wonderful job. They are uh, providing us with very good concepts and very good questions. And they are telling us exactly what we need like to crack the gate exam. They are not saying so much and they are not saying very less compared to that. They are providing us the enough tools to crack the gate exam. And the online coaching is also helpful in this regard. Like, uh, because of the online coaching, the SARS and everybody are able to share the questions, PDFs and uh, presentations easily. Uh, so it is very accessible. And uh, the lessons are also very good. That is what I wanted to say. Very Con good. Conceptual clarity has become very strong for me after joining ACE Academy. Like the faculty have done a good job in doing it. Very good. Pratish. Pratish, when did you pass out? Your BTEC? In 2021, I passed out. So, 2021, you passed out and uh, took this. Uh, and when you take this coaching while you are in final year? No, right? sir. After passing out only, I took the. So I... After passing out, you have taken this coaching. You have attended the gate, attended the gate examination. Yes. Okay. Very good. Uh, Pratish, uh, uh, many people say that uh, uh, sitting at home, and taking these online classes uh, continuously four five hours uh, at a stage uh, daily means somewhat uh, boredom and one requires a lot of uh, self initiative self drive etc uh, what about your feeling on these aspects is it really required personally i did not feel much difference compared to the classroom coaching things uh, some some people feel that while they are in a the classroom they can be more focused uh, they can listen to the classes properly, but it all depends on us actually. We, I, I suggest that you connect your earphones or headphones and fully immerse yourself, go to a room and just hear to the class. You will be like you are in classroom only. There will be not much difference in, in my opinion. Good, good, good. Well said, well said, uh, Mr. Prachish. Well said. Thanks. Right. Uh, see, while attending these online classes, uh, how you used to prepare any notes additionally? Did you prepare really additional notes, anything? Like I attending? used to prepare notes for revision purposes. Like uh, SAR used to teach, uh, SARS used to teach uh, concepts and they used to give uh, points and formulas and everything. And uh, sums also we used to solve in the class. Then what I did was I, uh, for each subject I took and I prepared like some important formulas, some important points. I noted down, that's it. Additionally, right. I did not prepare anything what was not there in ASA Cardinals. Uh, one thing, Pratish, please make sure this point clearly. Yes. While attending the live class, simultaneously, did you write anything, notes? Simultaneously, I did not write, sir, while attending the class. I just listened to the class and then after, uh, after the class is completed, I prepared uh, I, like what was given the PDFs and tried to solve some. After, uh, in, in, during the last two months, uh, of my preparation, I prepared this revision notes from yeah, the notes that was provided. Uh, not daily you prepared? Not daily. Not daily. Okay, right. Right. Very good, uh, Pratyush. See, in the gate like examination, you require a lot of uh, practice of the what you call previous question bank and yes. then numerical problem because gate exam is a more numerical problem oriented one. Yes. So, how did you practice all this uh, questionnaire after attending these classes? How many yes, times you have done this? Uh, get previous questions, I have done like three to four times, sir, uh, all subjects. And uh, what was given for us in the material, like volume one, volume two, textbook and all questions are there. 
uh, i have done those all once at least and uh, extra from that uh, i have solved uh, questions from test series and mm-hmm. i looked into my mistakes in that and uh, that's it sir what was given in the uh, like classes also i uh, we used to solve together okay no in this li- online live class etc whenever you get some doubts etc how you used to get them clarified like uh, there used to be a doubt session like every sir used to make sure that uh, there has to be a doubt session after the class is over like for us uh, in evening classes will be there and uh, by the 9 o'clock classes used to be over then from 9 to 9:30 and uh, like depending upon the doubts on that day sir uh, the sir used to stay up till 10 10:30 to clarify the doubts no issue and in between if you have like very sincere doubt uh, you can't uh, proceed without understanding that to the next concept then also sir used to take doubts if you keep like there will be a chat box and questionnaire box sir and that if you type and if it is really a genuine doubt at that time only sir used to clarify so in the live class online live class also there won't be problem if at all you have any got uh, any doubts right we have every means to get your doubt clarified yes, there is no Thanks. issue in doubt clarification in, in fact in online i think it will be easy also like uh, you can ask <laughs> without your video and all like some people will yes that is true i do agree prachish because when you when we teach in a class or some students they feel shy to raise the doubts in the class yeah, because once the student yeah. raises there everybody looks at them yeah But that's not so in the case of online live classes right yeah. many any people can raise any doubt in questionnaire box also like we no need to say the name also sir there will be a, a, a option called anonymous attendee yes, yes you can create some fictitious names also there yes sir anyway right so that is how all your doubts got clarified there yes, and you said particularly that you prepared that uh, what you call some sort of a short notes etc in the last two months of preparation for your yes, revision sir. purpose okay right good so and you are also saying about the test series etc so tell us uh, tell us you are feeling about uh, es test series like i felt uh, well, after uh, while writing test series uh, i felt that uh, the questions are very much similar to what was what are they are giving nowadays in the gate standard was very much similar to that and like some two three questions are uh, difficult only. like i will agree to that some questions are very difficult but uh, we need not feel like we are not getting these questions if we see that question and understand then we'll get the questions in gate exam what was given like the concept will help i'm saying that that Very test good. series has helped like uh, once we'll read what uh, our sars give in the pdf format and we'll read some books and all that and when we attempt the test series only we'll know like how much we understood and how much further we need to understand these concepts to crack the problems that is what uh, as academy test series has done for me like it has it has been a help in that regard okay good good words about is uh, test series and one more prachish apart from your uh, uh, what you call live classes of online of as academy and the material what we have given to you volume 1 volume 2 and this uh, previous years question bank bits and bits etc did you refer to any other further test book also No sir I did not refer any other textbooks like you mean to say that a textbook may not be necessary may need not be necessary sir in fact i think sometimes it may not be helping because in our classes uh, sars will give some notations like uh, a sigma for one thing and pi for another thing like this but uh, in test is in uh, textbooks and all what will happen is they will give another notations and will get all confused and all so no need to refer other books if you have some good clarity it is enough for the concept so because the different authors use different notation system yes. that's one problem and moreover yeah. yeah moreover once everything is covered in our study material and the classroom coaching itself yes, that is so more than enough more in than sufficient other, in textbook again uh, there will be some extra thing we don't know whether we have to read that yes, yes. it will be yes, time sir. rest if you ask us we have to no take the rele- re- relevant one to the examination yes right? sir okay very more. good very good prachish right see in your mechanical engineering there are so many subjects isn't it uh, yes um, did you prepare the entire syllabus as such or any selective thing that you have made finally no sir i like i i used to cover like uh, everything possible i used to cover uh, that um, like i did not leave anything sir if that's what you asked i did not leave any subject like i prepared everything everything you have covered okay yes. right Uh, one more mr prachish in the last one week before the examination sure. so how you used to tackle that time 
లైక్ లాస్ట్ వన్ వీక్ ఐ స్టాప్ డూయింగ్ దిస్ టెస్ట్ సిరీస్ సార్ ఐ ఓన్లీ యూస్ టు వేక్ అప్ ఇన్ ద మార్నింగ్ రీడ్ సమ్ కాన్సెప్ట్ అండ్ ఐ యూస్ టు ఈవెన్ రిలాక్స్ ఫర్ సమ్ టైమ్ ఇన్ ద ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ అండ్ ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ అగైన్ ఇన్ ద ఈవినింగ్ అండ్ నైట్ ఐ యూస్ టు రీడ్ కాన్సెప్ట్ అండ్ ఐ యూస్ టు స్లీప్ ఓన్లీ రీడింగ్ అండ్ I, I used to see some mistakes or some nice problems which I encountered in the test series. Again, again, I used to see and I used to practice like that. That's it. Okay. And one more practice is in this uh, long uh, period of one year preparation for the gate examination that to online seating at a home. So in this entire journey of a preparation, sometimes, you know, you get uh, demotivated, you lose energy, enthusiasm and, and all, isn't it? Yes, sir. Did you ever face such situation in your uh, case? like uh, sometimes it will be like again we have to go today full day classes like that it will be there sir for some time it will be sure but uh, in um, sometimes i used to take a break and i i will play some games video games and all those stuff sir then again it will be relaxed then again i will focus like ultimately we have to do this sir otherwise we can't do anything yes 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 ultimately we have to do as a student you have to do this one yes sir so so in preparation you said that by playing some video games etc you used to relax is it yes, yeah. sir mm. anything else to get some relief what else you used to do like uh, uh, if anybody feels whatever they get relaxing sir from childhood i used to play games so i will play only that i will play for one hour and again i'll go for study okay right very good like so some people yeah. will read books some people will watch movies anything but not too much time you need to spend on that again that is what i am saying sometimes yes, yes. little bit time right you should not spend entirely time on relaxation only our ultimate goal is the preparation yes but this is the secondary uh, thing to give yes, us yes. some boost or something like that in that yes, trick yes absolutely it's only some sort of stress buster like that yes. okay uh, prachush one more thing on the day of examination in the examination hall yes sir in the 3 hours of time this time after seeing gate paper of mechanical engineering you might have felt some sort of difficulty level comparatively yes sir yes sir. So, so how you used to uh, how you have carried out in the examination hall in the 3 hours of time any strategy that you have followed specifically first of all after seeing the paper like uh, once i used to glance like in test series also i used to do this practice sir every question once i will glance uh, in like some normal quick reading type then we'll understand like how they are asking questions some new concepts are they are asking and all those stuff then what i will do i used to do like uh, from first question onwards i i will go again i will see whether i'm getting or not if i'm not getting then i'll immediately move to the next question sir like we no need to worry about the previous question that we are not getting this question if we don't get this question our marks will be reduced if you do like that means you will be demotivated demotivated for the entire test then that yes, is not a good good strategy and all you need to forget if you didn't get that question it's all right there are still if you don't get one question there are 64 questions you will get some questions it will be it depends upon again on your preparations like how many questions you will get yes yes but one point you have nicely said the prachush right if you don't get to one question you can try the remaining 64 questions right yes. one need question to get not... one if you don't get one you are getting demotivated but there are still 64 questions to yes, motivate yes, right. mm. so one question should not decide your your fate there in the examinations that is a nice point you have mentioned here and uh, uh, so you, you used to carry out that examination as per sequence of the questions right yes sir i i did not like to go first do only two marks only one mark whatever is there they have given in the sequence i did like that okay out of some gender aptitude okay out of 65 questions how many questions have you actually attempted like i don't i think i have attempt, attempted around 60 61 questions okay finally how many marks you have got mr prachush i got 81.4 marks 81.4 marks this year yes. and all india ranked 10 very good great achievement uh, prachush so after writing the gate examination i have you ever thought that you would be in this uh, top 10 no sir to be honest i, I never thought like i will get a uh, 10th rank i thought maybe below 1000 or below 500 but 10th rank was a surprise okay it's a surprise to you yes. but we don't see a surprise because this time the gate paper mechanical was a somewhat uh, difficult compared to previous one so that's how you got a good rank right very good uh, very nice to talk to you mr pratyush right you have shared many points in your preparation 
that in the examination how what you used to think on right whenever you don't know question how you used to motivate yourself all points you have shared and still uh, any other session that you want to share with this uh, video so that the your juniors and other aspirants of gate examination get some benefit out of your suggestions like i am saying ultimately sir some people i have seen that they are neglecting this test series and all these things i am saying in that regard like the test series are very important sir we need to solve as many full length tests at least as possible then we'll get an idea of our preparation and uh, what we are doing mistakes and it will be very helpful sir. that is the ultimate suggestion i want to give to you like everybody knows the concept everybody is listening to the class everybody is asking doubts everybody is preparing in that there is no doubt everybody is preparing for so much time in the test time only they are doing somewhat some mistakes that mistakes can be avoided if we go if we do test series and have a lot of practice so oh, you mean to say that the students have to take the test series so seriously yes sir they need to attempt every test like it is the gate exam Good. then they will get the clarity is not that you are absolutely true mr prachish you are absolutely true and one more prachish you see in our yes test series if you look at there are so many uh, tests are there we have yes. subject wise tests are there and the two three subjects combinations are there and full length uh, tests also there uh, so what is your suggestion regarding this uh, test to be taken you want the students to take uh, first uh, what you call the part test and then go for full length or combination of this one Yes, sir while the classes are going on or while you are preparing if you have time you go for topic wise and subject wise those are important like they they are uh, they are some extreme questions like it will give you full clarity on the subject and all if you go for that test but if you don't have time no need to worry but in the end you need to go for full length test those are must right those are very so, important so conclusion is in the end of the preparation maybe in the december january month you have to be more focused on the what you call full length uh, yes sir in the december and january month you need to be focused on. then you will right. be prepared for it yourself right very good uh, okay nice uh, pratish do you want to share anything that are that are going to useful points for the uh, your uh, juniors any more else that's it sir like okay right well you have shared many useful points uh, pratish i think through this video uh, we are going to communicate uh, the aspirants uh, some more useful points many of them definitely will get benefit out of this uh, interview okay one last question prachush with sure. this all india 10th rank i think uh, you will definitely get uh, a psc job as well as a uh, good mtech in any iit any specialization right so finally which one you want to choose psc job or mtech admission i well, right now i am more inclined towards uh, mtech admission only sir i need to still look into the prospects and all these things then i right very good prachush right So I once again congratulate you as well as your parents, right? And uh, we wish you all uh, good luck in all your future endeavors. God bless you, Prachish. God bless Thank you. you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your ideas with us. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck.